Hey guys, welcome back to Sony's Outuse. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a shared folder in Google Drive using phone. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software chest under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you create your shared folder here using your phone? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up or access the Google Drive app here. Now, if you haven't downloaded it, you can get it from the App Store or Play Store here. But in this case, let's go open up the Google Drive app here. And from here, let's go and create our folder. So at the bottom right, let's go and click on New Folder. From here, just click on Folder. Now, you could go ahead and enter the name that you want to give to your folder. So mine, I'm just going to say or type in Shared Folder. And from here, let's go and click on Create. Now, it should create our shared folder here, as you can see right now. Now, next that we want to do here is you want to manage our actual folder. In this case, you want to click on the three dotted icon that you see next to the folder that you just recently created. So in my case, my case is the shared folder here. So go going to click on the three dotted option. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we need to manage the access. Let's go and click on manage access. Now, from here, we want to manage our, or in this case, the access or how people access our shared folder. So let's go and click on change at the bottom section here now by default it's going to be set as restricted but if you want to uh, set this to anyone with the link so anyone with the link that you'll be sharing for your drive here can access and contribute to the folder but if you set this to restricted only specific uh, number or specific people can actually access or edit the actual folder so in this case let's for example let's go ahead and use restricted because we have more control over our folder in that case Let's go ahead and go back here. Now, what we need to do is we need to go back to the manage access here and you need to click on the plus or person that has the plus icon on it at the top, right? Now, once you click on it, you now have the option to add people here. Now, you can go ahead and enter their email address and once you've entered their email address, just click on the option that says, or in this case, uh, that looks like a share button at the top right of your screen. Now, you could also, uh, let me just enter one email here that I could share to. Now, yeah, so in this case, you could specify what you want to share. So either uh, they're a viewer, a commenter, or if uh, if you want to give them an, uh, a given editor access. So if they're an editor, they can organize, add, and edit the files within the folder itself. Now, if you want to add a message here, you can go ahead and do that. But once you've done that, just click on send here to give them access, and they should be able to start accessing the actual folder itself. It should also include a link itself. Now, if you want to get the link for that folder, you can go and click on the three dot icon at the right side here. Click on the options as copy link and you can directly send this via Messenger or any other platform that you are using to communicate with the uh, people that you want to share the folder with. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.